Hi, hello. Uh, the objective of this video is to throw more light into different life cycle life cycles, project life cycles. Here, uh, the first one is the predictive styles. In the predictive styles, uh, an example of this would be uh, like first you have a requirements phase where you freeze the requirements completely, get the sign off, then you get into the high level design. Then you get a sign off for the high level design. Then you get into the low level design. Then you get a sign off for the low level design. Then you get into uh, construction. Uh, then you get into the acceptance testing. Then you get into the project sign off. Project sign off. Uh, in, in IT, we call it as a, there is something called waterfall model. Waterfall model. So in the waterfall model, we have, we collect all the requirements first, we freeze it, get the sign off from the customer, then you move it on, to move on to uh, uh, the high level design phase. Uh, customer is allowed to, it is explained to the customer and get the acceptance from the customer. Then you get into the low level designs, the micro level stuff, get the acceptance from the client. Uh, likewise you go. So at every stage there is an approval and sign off and this is very predictive. This is very good for projects where there is absolute clarity into the requirements like a construction and engineering discipline doesn't allow for change. Take the case of a construction project because once the foundation is done, you cannot change uh, much. So everything is crystal clear in a construction project by the time you start it. Uh, so those kind of projects, a waterfall model is fine. Uh, the key criteria, the requirements are very clear. Then, okay, waterfall model is perfect. Then comes the, the iterative and incremental styles where requirement itself can be repeated multiple times. Iteration 1, iteration 2, iteration 3, because uh, after iteration 1, customer will have more clarity and then he, may, he or she may give more requirements or more clarity into the requirements. Then you iterate it second time, iterate it third time. Similarly, the design also can be iterated multiple times. Uh, and maybe the lower level design also can be iterated multiple times. Uh, and each of these comes with an increment of the high level design, an increment of the lower level design, an increment of the requirements. So every phase you iterate it multiple times till you have better clarity. And uh, this opens uh, up uh, more discussions and it's quite likely that all the risky things are, uh, have clarity before you uh, get into the next phase. So here the iterations are done at a, at a, at a stage wise or at a uh, cycle wise. Now within requirements you iterate it multiple times. Within design you iterate it multiple times. Uh, so that you get a better design or a better requirements uh, kind of thing. But this is good uh, when requirements, uh, the clarity into the project is not very good, then an iterative model is fine. Then comes uh, the adaptive life cycles and it is primarily, it is change driven and it is also known as agile. And uh, uh, within agile itself, Uh, so within, within within agile one minute. So so within agile, within agile, uh, we have uh, multiple models uh, like Scrum, uh, Extreme Programming, RUP, Crystal, Test Driven Development feature driven development. So all these things comes under the family of Agile. And in Agile, uh, what happens is, uh, you go by iterations, Sprint 1, Sprint 2, Sprint 3, Sprint 4, Sprint 5, 
and within this there will be the, the requirements collection is there uh, high level design is there low level design is there coding is there uh, testing is there and you demonstrate uh, a working piece of the software or the or you demonstrate the product uh, of the project not just an artifact when we saw before when we saw iterative model all we saw was requirements are iterated multiple times and you come out with a requirements document here it is not so uh, here the iteration happens at the product level uh, so within a sprint, within an iteration, uh, and, and the product is built and the product is demonstrated, not the artifacts. Similarly, here the next iteration, the product is incremented. Again, a demo happens. Here again, the product is incremented and a demo happens. So if a question arises, are agile projects or adaptive styles, are they incremental? Yes. They are rapidly incremental, that is the problem, because here it is, we are talking about 30 days cycle, and, and the scope is fixed, what you are supposed to do in the 30 days time, with respect to the, the features to be done in the 30 days time, that is also fixed. So this is uh, a rapid, uh, incremental, uh, iterative model is, is, is adaptive or agile. So. Yeah, now to summarize, uh, we spoke about predictive styles, predictive or waterfall, 